Poseidon, the god of the sea, fell in love with Rivier, the beautiful princess of Egypt. Thus, Rivier bore a brilliant son named Velos. As Velos matured, he ascended to become the great king of Egypt. He married Ankino, the daughter of Nilos, and together they had two sons. The powerful king who held dominion over vast territories in the east bequeathed the lands of Arabia and Libya to his two sons, Aegyptus and Danios, respectively. The two brothers efficiently managed their assigned realms. However, the covetous older brother, Aegyptus, harbored a desire to seize control of the land of Libya, which was under Danios' rule. After much contemplation, Aegyptus devised a plan to marry off his sons to Danios' daughters. At that time, Aegyptus boasted 50 grown sons. While Danas had 50 daughters known as Danites, Aegyptus believed that uniting the two families through marriage would facilitate his takeover, as he thought his wife would be subservient to him. Knowing his brother's cunning nature, Danas rejected this marriage proposal. Enraged by the rejection, Aegyptus assembled his 50 valiant sons. Preparing to invade Libya under the pretext of avenging his brother's refusal, Faced with imminent danger, Danas pleaded for his life. In an unexpected turn of events, Athena, who usually cared very much about Danas, intervened by providing a colossal 50-year-old boat. Danas and his 50 daughters hastily paddled away from Libya, seeking refuge in Argos. Arriving in Argos, Danas assumed the role of king and effectively governed the country, thereby reclaiming stability and prosperity.